I, I mean, I think you're hitting on, on the key is that self-examination and looking at, we talked, we kind of talked off camera and we're going to bring it to the front now, like being able to look at yourself and not only self-examine, but be completely objective about it and not be hurt when you're like, I failed at this because I made a bad decision. That's like the, I mean, that's the key to winning in poker, but it's also the key to winning in life. It's like, how do you get better? You yeah. look at something. And, go ahead. Yeah. And not, and not, uh, and not beating yourself up too. I think it's like, because there's life or any, or any, any endeavor at all is so complex and has so many factors. And I think we, we can have a tendency to, to beat ourselves up about, you know, we failed at, that, at this specific thing, or we're not good at this specific thing. So for example, me, like, you know, I, it, it would be easy for me to build a narrative around like my social anxiety and my anxieties in general and be like, well, I'm not going to be successful because of these, these things I've faced, these obstacles, the fact, you know, it's, it's easy for me to feel like a failure in, in that regard, you know, and that's, that's kind of like what I struggled with when I was young, you know, it's like those became the defining aspects of myself, but it's like, we're all more than any specific, you know, area that we can focus on. It's like, I'm more than my social anxiety that I have, or I'm more than the fact that I'm bad at math, for example, there's all these examples we can uh, pick not to say I'm bad at math. That was somebody else's example, but you get what I'm saying. Sure. Uh, there, there's just all sorts of ways we can build a narrative around our own, either our own, like how great we are at something or how bad we are at something. But none of those things really define us because we're all just, you know, as people, we're all like going to have through the environment or through natural things, we're going to have things that we're good or bad at. And like, we're all more or less than those things, you know, it's like, we're just, we're just people. Uh, and, and so being willing to, to live with your failures and not see that as, as a very defining aspect, just as I think we're all, we're often so much more forgiving of other people too. You know, it's like, we can see that somebody else is more than like a, a, a failure they had or something they're bad at, or their one mistake, but like, we're more willing to like judge ourselves hard in that, in that area. So I think, and yeah, it's like two competing things. It's like, not being too full of yourself for your successes because those some of those successes are going to be due to chance. You know, like if you succeed at a company, you might think you're at building a, a big company, you might think you're a genius, but it, you could have just been in the right place at the right time. You know, so examining that success and being like, well, you know, in my question whether you're really always making the right decisions. And then on the other end, it's like not beating yourself up for your failures. So it's like somewhere in the middle is like the is trying to see things objectively and not get too tied to either the losses or the wins, you know? Uh, yeah. Well, that's the, I mean, you, you hit on so many good points there. Like the, we are really quick to forgive other people, especially when they ask for it, right? If it's our friend or somebody that's close to us, we're really quick to point out how great they are, but we are all really, really hard on ourselves, right? Like that's the easiest thing to do. And I think, you kind of said it at the beginning of that segment, learning to look at ourselves and have like some grace some forgiveness and say like, so what I did something wrong. It like, I'm not a failure. That action was a failure and I can learn from it and separating. This is something that I talk to people a lot. Like just because something didn't work out doesn't mean that you're a failure like you're not the failure that action mm -hmm. failed, but you can change the action. You can change any action. That's what's great about being human, right? That's a, about our experience. You can always change something. And sometimes you are going to make the best decision. You were going to take the right action and things just aren't going to play out. Mm -hmm. Like, and there's nothing you can do. That's, I mean, that was probably the biggest thing I learned from playing poker mm -hmm. was that. And like, just like, you have to brush it off and realize like, I'm here for another day. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Like I can make, I can make a better decision right now. I mean, we've all had, if you don't, if you've never played poker, I will tell you there are days, there are weeks where you will do all the right things over and over and over. And you'll look at your bank account and you'll be like, how'd I lose? Like, how'd I lose repeatedly mm -hmm. for five days in a row? You did the right things, but sometimes they just don't work out. And it's like, life can do that too. But are you, Benny Binion, I was lucky enough to meet uh, his to meet his son. I can't Mr. Binion um, mm -hmm. long time ago at a restaurant. And one of the things that he said was like, easy times make easy people when the tough when times get tough, the tough get going. Like, yeah, that was one of the quotes. I think that's uh, I mean, that, that it, so many people said about poker, you know, because it is 
it is almost like a fast forward, like uh, it's almost like living life in a, in a, in a getting, getting more life experience in a shorter time span. Cause it's like the amount of like failures and successes you have in poker, like these big hand spots that come up so often, you know, bit significant spots. And the fact you have to deal with these things, it's almost like, you know, starting a bunch of businesses and failing or succeeding at them in a, in a small form, you know, in a, in a smaller yeah. form, obviously, but it, it's like, you're getting the same lessons. It's like, you're, you're, you're seeing how that your actions, no matter how good they are, aren't necessarily tied to your results, at least in the short term, you know, it's tied to your results in the long term. But I think there is, there is such a, so many life lessons there that, and then so many people yeah talk about that about poker and, and I think it's true. There's just so many lessons there.